Okay, so here is arithmetic and geometry sequence and series. So back then in school, I believe that you already know a little bit of these things, but maybe in this matriculation level, it's a bit deeper. But it's okay, it's still a knowledge. Okay, so under arithmetic, you should know about common difference, which den denoted as D. We do have our consistent formula for the n term also, which is A plus N minus 1D, da, as well as the summation, which denoted as SN which equals to n over 2 in the bracket 2a plus n minus 1d or some people might want to use n over 2a plus l where l is actually tn. Okay. So looks at this first example regarding uh, arithmetic but as I mentioned to you it's arithmetic so we might want to solve this by identify that a is 13 which A here is the first term and then D is negative 6 because T2 minus T1 here where our T2 is 7, our T1 is 13 is negative 6. The same goes when T3 minus with our T2. 1 minus 7 also negative 6. So as simple as we are having our a as well as D. Da. This the anthem for this sequence is straight away becoming 13 plus N minus 1D. Okay. If you want to simplify this one, also can. But actually, we can just put straight away into the formula to find the first six term here. And hence, find the 300 term that. Okay. So... Looking further up, the first six terms because we have the first three already. So we just need to find T4, T5 and T6. Huh? So quite straightforward there. But 300 term might somehow be tricky. But then just use the, the related formula also. Which is 19 minus 6N. So substitute into formula, our answer should be negative 1781. Okay. So next, in example 4, the question wants you to find the 11th term of an arithmetic sequence, uh, which given to you that the 11th term of an arithmetic sequence is 52, and the 19th term is 92. Find the thousand term. Okay, so the trick is please list all the information that you know. So 11 term means T11. T11 is A plus 10D, which at the same time is 52. Okay, so this is somehow our first equation. T19 given to you is. 92 right so this is our second equation because in order to find the thousandth term t, t thousand we should find what is our a what is our d so in order to find this we need to solve these two equations here so i might want to use the elimination solve a and d so 2 minus 1 would be 8 d equals to 40 so our d is 5 eventually so substitute d into 1 maybe so we have a plus with 10 times 5 equals to 52 so eventually we would have our a to be 2. So when we have our a is 2 and our d is 5, don't forget we need to find t 1000. So t 1000 should be should be a plus 999 d. All right? So taking up your values for A and D will be 2 plus 999 times with 5. 
So the final answer is 4997. So recap a bit about the partial sums of arithmetic sequence. So we know that Sn is T1 plus T2 up until Tn, where our T1 is A, our T2 is A plus D and so on. So now we want to prove how to get the formula for the partial sums. If we rewrite this again in backward, we would have that. And then what will happen if we plus them together? We would have this as the form. Okay, so later on, this is how they got the formula for that. Huh? And since our Tn is A plus N minus 1D, so we can actually simplify this further, which this one is our L at the same time. Okay, so you might explore this by yourself also. Let's see what happened if we have the sum of the first 50 odd numbers. So be careful. That is the sum of the first 50 odd numbers. So odd numbers must start it with 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. Okay. So we need to find our new A. So now our A is 1 and our new D, which is our D is 2. And then they ask you to find S of the first 50 or number. So S50, S50 would be 50 over 2 in the bracket of 2 times A plus with and minus 1 would be 49 times with D. So the answer for this should be 2500. Okay. What will happen if you, uh, an amphitheater has 50 rows of seats with 36 in the first row, 32 in the second row, and 34 in the third, and so on. So we need to find the total number of the seats. So the main idea is, looking at this problem, it has 50 rows all together. So what is this 50 rows signify for? It's actually N. Okay, and 36 in the first row means T1 is 30, T2 means 32, and T3 got 34. And then please note that the increment of this is plus 2, as well as this one, plus 2 also. So therefore, we can say that this is an arithmetic sequence. Alright, so now... We should know that our A is 30, our D is 2. So we want to find the total number of seats means we want to find S50 up until the 50th row. row. Okay, how many seats are all together? Alright, so we want to find S50. The formula should be 50 over 2. In the bracket, 2 times of A plus with 49 because N minus 1 times by D. There. Okay, so all together, that should be 25 times with 158. So the final answer should be 39506 altogether. Such a big amphitheater. Okay. Okay.